So what do you do? You've had a long day in the fields, collecting nectar, working your little wings to the bone, bringing it back, flying back and forth. What do you do when it's time to come home? You relax with a nice Miller Lite. That's what the bees prefer. They prefer Miller Lite. Why in the world would they drink anything else? They've had a hard day at work. Now it's their time to relax. You go, girls. All right, so welcome back to the channel. Today is a big day for more reasons than you know. Um, I do have some new queens to install. We're going to be putting one in the orange hive, possibly a queen in the green hive. We'll get to that in a minute. And then hopefully a queen in the red hive. I haven't been able to find the queen in the red hive, so hopefully they're going to take a brand new queen and everything will be happy. And the reason I said possibly the green hive is because this morning the green hive swarmed. We did the video, the, the green queen was MIA, couldn't find her, and she had taken off. And she went into a tree about 30 feet in the air. There's no way I could get her. I watched her for an hour or two, and eventually she took off and flew across the lake, and I had just finished baiting my swarm traps. I think I'm going to get some swarm commander because lemongrass oil just doesn't seem to be doing the trick. And to top things off, before the new queens arrived, and after the swarm, I came down here to put the lemongrass oil that I had in my pocket back in my bee cabinet, and when I walked down here, a bee from the red hive jumped out and stung me in the eyeball. So, I don't have it on video. My security cameras didn't pick it up. I had to adjust the sensitivity on the, on the motion detection, but, Here's a picture of it, and she stung me right in the bottom of the eyelid. So this one is going on the stingometer, even though there's probably five other stings that I haven't registered on the stingometer because I didn't have them on video. This one got me in the eye, and it's making the, the stingometer because hopefully this is the last time any evil bees are going to be spawned from that red hive because if all goes well, they're going to get a new queen today, provided there is a new queen going to be accepted in that hive because that hive may be like the green hive and I just can't find the queen because they've been cleaning off the dots on the queen's backs. The blue, the yellow hive, the yellow hive that I had just found the queen and accidentally painted her white, when I did the split on the yellow hive and moved five frames of those bees into a nuke and then eventually into a hive, I moved the queen on accident because they cleaned off the white paint. So now I have refound the queen, reinstalled her in the yellow hive, and repainted her dot green. So with that said, I'm going to get a veil on because I got stung in the face once today and I've got bees swarming around my hand and I do not want to get stung again in the face or anywhere else for that matter. But we're going to be getting in this hive for sure and putting in a queen and then we're going to try the green and the red hive. If I cannot put a queen in those hives successfully, I have the small flow hive back here that I'm going to put a, I could put one of the queens in there because I know they don't have one. And, oh, and I need a veil. Because I don't want two stinks to the face. Here's a bee in my face, and it's gotta be from that red hive. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. So now let's get some queens installed. This is nuts. This is nuts. Now it may be from the green hive. Do they get aggressive when hive swarms? I don't know. Let's get this. Let's get this uh, underway here. This box is slapped full. Okay. So let's see what you girls do if I give you a queen. All right, let's see what they do. Let's 
see what happens here. They seem kind of indifferent. What does that mean? There's nobody crawling on the box. Oh, there's a couple. So far it looks promising. They don't appear to be attacking the box. Okay, I have some bees sticking their tongues down into the into the cage. That's good. Okay, so I think, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to, well, maybe I should just watch it for a few minutes. They look pretty happy. They don't seem to be trying to sting her. The hive sure is calm. You would think that if it was a queen that they weren't going to accept, that the hive would be really loud. But it's not. It's very quiet. I don't see anybody fanning yet. But I also don't see them stinging the cage. They, it's a very mild approach. And that's good. So I got these bees at American Bee Supply out of North Carolina. And I'm hoping that these are docile bees because the last queen that I purchased was the Red Hive and she's actually being replaced with one of these today. Oh, nope, they're on me. Don't reach your hand over the hive. I don't like that. Anyways, American Bee Supply, I'm hoping that these are good queens, and if they are, I'll be doing more business with them. I did reach out to Mountain Sweet Honey in Tekoa. They didn't have any available bees. Their queens were all going into nukes and going out to customers, so they didn't have any. These girls look happy. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I am going to smoke this down a little bit, and I'm going to put this queen cage down in the hive and come back and check on it. But first, I'm going to take the cork out. I don't think they're going to attack her, and I'm pretty confident that there is no queen in this hive. So let's move these frames apart. Let's, uh, let's put her in here. See what happens. Pitch her right in there. We'll close this hive up and we'll go on to the next one. It looks like it looks like this is going to be a success. Right, let's see what we can see. Let's see what happens. Let me set her down here. Let's see if they already have a new queen. Or whether they I want her to be their new queen. Let's turn her on the side so they can see her and smell her. We have bees on the cage. I'll turn it right side up here in a moment. 
And remember, this hive swarmed this morning. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave her sit. Leave her sit right there, and I'm going to start going through these frames on this side. If I find a queen in here, I'm going to take her. I'm going to move her. All right. I do not see a virgin queen on any of these frames. What do you say their behavior is? Would you say they're being nice? I don't see them trying to sting the cage. I think they're happy that they've got a queen. Okay. I'm going to pull the cork. I think they're happy to have her. I'm going to take this in cage, pop her in right there. I think what we're going to do, probably not right there in the honey. Probably stick it right. Puppies, oh, not gonna smash anybody. He wants to sacrifice himself to the queen. Put your head. Okay. So that queen is in place. These bees are down there feeding this queen, and that is a good sign. So I'm going to button this hive up. I don't want to smash any of you girls. There are very limited bees left after your, your secret agent mother took off today and hiding from me for weeks. All right. Success, I think. I did not find a queen, and they were being very, very nice to the queen that I put in there. I pulled the cork. Now it's just up to them to chew her out. Let's go to Red Dawn. Yeah. All right. Suiting up before I even attempt to get into this hive. If they don't take this queen, I'm going to put the queen in that little flow box back there that I know does not have a queen. All right, it's not going to be fun, but let's get it over with. All right, here we go. <sighs> Just not looking forward to this hive. Unbelievable. <laughs> Sorry for doing this to you.
we'll try something different. I'm going to put them over here where the bees are happy. sit there for a few minutes. Okay, that behavior seems reasonable considering this hive. The hive is starting to calm down. It's getting quieter. Maybe I'm just wanting it to get quieter. It's getting quieter. The hive is calming down. Okay, so these bees, let me see if I can tighten that shot up. They don't seem to be attacking the cage. They seem to be trying to feed her. I don't see anybody balling up on it. And the hive has gotten quiet. It's really getting quiet, which is crazy for Red Dawn. Usually they're not quiet until about an hour after I leave and come back. This hive is getting quiet. I think they're accepting this queen. I mean, with the exception of the bees swarming my face, the rest of the hive got calm. They're calm. The whole hive changed. It's amazing. I mean, it's going to get loud again because I'm going to open it up and put this queen down there. I think they have a new queen. I do. Girls, Let's go meet your new queen. Meet your new queen. I mean, look at this. They're not trying to attack her, they're feeding her. Cork. She's got a candy plug. I'm set her aside for a second. Very attending to her. And I'm putting her down in the bottom box. 
There's your new queen. They like her. She's going to go right there. There's plenty of bee space. Hey ladies. Start building that wax. Start building that wax. We have a new queen. All right, so I'm going to clean this up and then we'll sign off from a safe location. Because this right now is not safe, although the bees are very, very calm. Oh, got another one inside. Holy moly. How in the world are they getting inside my veil? That could have been bad. Another one right there, inside. Bees are crafty. All right. Well, I think that was a success. I'll know tomorrow. I'll come out tomorrow and get back down on the hives and make sure that they've released the queen. I think it takes 24 hours, maybe 48. Um, I may give it a couple of days to make sure that they've released the queen. I did pull the cork. I left the candy plug in because I do want the slow release, but it looked like all three of the hives the orange, the green, and the red hive accepted the queen, I hope. Now, the orange hive was no problem. I was, I was very, very confident that there was no queen in the orange hive. I put her down on the top of the box, and they readily accepted her. They started feeding her. There was nobody bawling the queen cage. They weren't stinging it. Their abdomens were kind of in the air, and they actually started fanning a little bit. So that's a good sign. So the orange hive, I'm pretty confident. We're good. Now the green hive, the green hive swarmed about an hour before I put that queen in that box. I don't know what the rule is. Maybe you're supposed to wait overnight the next day. I don't know. I just wanted to make sure that if those bees swarmed in the green hive, which I could not find the queen, remember the green queen was MIA uh, just two weeks ago. Couldn't find her and I've been through that box a number of times and haven't been able to find her. But apparently she was there because she left this morning along with about half the bees from that hive. She left me quite a few bees in the hive, so I'm still happy. Um, but I put the queen in there after doing a quick inspection, and they accepted that queen. Now, you can leave it in the comments. I, I don't know if a bee will swarm when there's no queen in the hive. There were like 10 queen cells, so maybe the bees knew that those queen cells were ready to hatch. I mean, they were like two weeks old, and isn't it 14 days for a queen? So maybe they thought, okay, the new queen is coming. We're going to leave. Nice day. Let's get out of here. Um, regardless, I pulled all the queen cells, put the queen in there, pulled the cork. The candy plug is still in. I think they're going to accept her. They were very, very nice uh, to that queen cage. Now the red hive. I've been through this red hive. This was the third deep inspection that I did on this hive to look for the green queen that was in there. We'd, we'd seen her a few weeks back when I did an inspection. She was in there. She was evil. I think Red Dawn video was the last video that we saw that queen. Um, so I've done three inspections, the third being today, where I've gone through every frame, every box, even the honey supers, looking for that queen, and I did not find the queen. The first inspection uh, I went through, I found a lot of queen cells, and I picked them all off, a lot of queen cups. Um, I even removed some drone. The second inspection, I found yet some more queen cups and a few uncapped larvae, but they looked much too old to be able to make viable queens out of. 
but on neither one of those occasions did I see any eggs. On the on today, when I went through the hive and looked for a queen prior to putting this new queen in there, I saw no eggs. I did find other queen cells completed, but they were very small. It's like they tried to do whatever they could to get the uncapped larva that was well over three days old the last time I was in that hive. I think they fed that some royal jelly to do whatever they could do to try to make a queen there. Um, but I went through that hive frame for frame for frame for box for box for box and I found no queen. Um, while I was in there, there were so many bees in there and I think they are wanting to swarm too, um, that I took a nuke out of that box. I took three frames of bees and put them in the blue nuke and put three empty frames in there and then I released the queen. Well, did not release the queen. Put the queen cage in the hive and something very interesting happened. I thought they were going to ball that box because they were angry when I was in the hive. I was in there for quite a long time. But I thought they were going to ball that queen cage and start stinging it. When I put that queen cage in there, after about three or four minutes, the volume on that hive just went way down. And everybody calmed down. And the bees looked like they were trying to feed her through the cage. Nobody was stinging it. They weren't, they weren't agitated. They weren't as mean to that queen as they'd been to me all afternoon. I'll tell you that. Um, so I think there's a really good chance that there was no queen in that hive because, again, no eggs. And they tried to make queen cells out of old brood that had not been capped yet. So I think that she, they're going to accept that queen. I hope. I'm going to check back in a couple of days. But I hope that changes the disposition of that hive. So all in all, the insertion of the new queens was a success. So with all that said, I want to thank you for watching. If you have any comments, do me a favor and leave them in the comment section below. Let me know if you saw the queen in any of those boxes as I was going through those frames. I didn't see her. I hope that there wasn't one in there. If there is, I'm going to lose uh, a very nice queen, I think. Um, make sure you like, comment, subscribe if you haven't. Ring the bell so you'll be notified of my new content. And by all means, share this video. I would really, really, really appreciate it if you shared the video with people that you know who may or may not be interested in beekeeping but may want to have a look at it or see some guy get stung. That's me. It happens all the time, as it did today. Um, and uh, I want to thank you for watching. Oh, and I also want to thank, again, American Bee Supply out of North Carolina. Uh, I'll put their logo up there. Um, they only had one queen in stock when I went onto their website because I'd looked everywhere. Usually I go to Mountain Sweet Honey to get my queens and Mountain Sweet Honey didn't have any. I checked a few other ones, Barnyard Bees in North Georgia, they didn't have any. So I was calling around and I found American Bee Supply in North Carolina. I went onto their website and I found that they had uh, a marked Italian queen. I tried to order three of them and they were out of stock. There was only one. So I placed the order for one, and I was only going to get one bee. Well, the nice folks at American Bee Supply, when they sent me an email, I responded back said, yes, I would love to have a couple more bees. If you could help me out, I would appreciate it. And I got an email back almost directly and said, yeah, you know what, we can send you a couple more bees. Um, so I want to say thank you to American Bee Supply. We're going to test your queens and see if they're any good. I hope they're docile. I believe they're going to be. I don't think you would sell hot bees like that outfit out in California did. Um, but uh, I do want to make a special thank you to you because uh, you really helped me out here. Uh, that Red Hive, if you've seen any of my videos, American Bee Supply, maybe you'll go look. Um, the Red Hive has been mean, and I'm glad they're gone. So hopefully your bee is going to change that. So again, with all that said, I would like to thank you for watching. And be safe. Be happy. We're all together at this seclusion thing that's going on. So... Be nice. Have a great day.